If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. What's going on guys? Apple World here and welcome back to the Back to School series. If you guys haven't checked out all the other episodes on the Back to School series, they will of course be linked down below. The first episode was the best iPad Pro tips for students. So if you're a student and you own an iPad Pro, make sure to check it out. Once again, links are down below. So today we're not checking out tips and tricks for your iPad Pro. Today we're checking out the best iPad Pro apps for students. So if you're a student and you own an iPad Pro, this is the video for you. So let's get started. So before I actually go ahead and start with the apps, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've added backpacks to appleworldclothing.com. I've also added a bunch of new designs on t-shirts and hoodies, and for the first time ever, long sleeves are now available with some really awesome designs as well. I've also added pillows, I've also added backpacks as I said, and I've also added mugs. Definitely go ahead and check out all the new products, or maybe buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or whatever you want. It's really going to help out the channel this month, because this September, this keynote, there's going to be so many products, so of course I'm going to have to purchase them. Them all um, to review them on the channel so if you guys want to go ahead and help support the channel make sure to check out appleworldclothing.com so anyways let's go ahead and start with our first ipad pro app and that is grammarly grammarly is basically an app that lets you add a keyboard to your ipad now what does this keyboard exactly do it has a sophisticated grammar checker a contextual spelling checker advanced punctuation correction vocabulary enhancements and synonym finders it's basically an autocorrect but it actually works really well i'm um, in high school and especially in college you really can't make any grammar mistakes or any spelling mistakes and you can't use certain words you have to use professional words and grammarly basically takes care of all that it's it's amazing definitely go ahead and check it out links are down below scanner mini is our next step us as students we're always taking photos of our handouts of our homework of our essays of course we're students we have to save all of those documents well scanner mini basically scans all of those documents now you might be thinking why would i use this random scanner app when i can just use my ipad's camera app and take photos of my handouts and of my homework this scanner app is so good it adjusts the brightness and the contrast to the perfect point like this is much it's much easier to read and to annotate so if you're a fan of highlighting annotating and all that good stuff definitely get the scanner app because you will love it so next up is notability and if you don't live under a rock you probably know notability because it's a must-have if you have an ipad and if you're a student it literally changes note taking forever it replaces all of your journals and you simply have to bring in an apple pencil and your ipad with notability you can highlight you can mark up stuff um you can even record your teacher if your teacher is speaking too fast you can literally just press the record button and it will record your teacher's voice which is so handy i mean i've used it so much so my next app is photomat and to be honest i don't really know how this app is not illegal because if you're studying math if you're in high school and you're taking math it's crazy i mean it literally takes all of the work you have and the app does it for you it's crazy you simply let's say you have a mathematical problem for example um the example that i put is one plus one you literally hold your ipad the, the camera of the ipad and you hold it in front of that problem the app will actually solve it for you. And I'm not just talking like one plus one, like the example that I just did. Um, and when I was in high school, I used this app so much. You can literally um, add problems like y squared plus four halves um, squared to the root of four. You literally hold the app and the app does it actually for you. Now, you might think that this is cheating, um, which if you only do this for homework and you only do use this app instead of actually working, I could guess and I could understand how you could think that it's cheating but what's amazing about this app is that it actually shows you it actually shows you what it did to actually get to the answer which is awesome so if you don't really understand math just get the app take a photo of the problem and it will actually solve it for you but it, it will actually teach you as well so if you're math you have an iPad definitely check the app out now Quizlet I would have totally failed high school if I did not have Quizlet. Quizlet is a really simple app. You literally add a word in the front and a, the definition of the word in the back, and you literally study the words as you go. You also have tests to study. So this app literally helps you study so much. It's awesome. You can also share your, your cards with your friends or the, your friends can share them with you. So it's amazing. Once again, all of these apps that I'm showing you in today's video, I've used them so much. Anyways. Next up, if you guys watch my student Apple Watch apps video, I mentioned Countdown and I'm mentioning it again on this video. Countdown is basically an app that lets you count down to certain dates and it lets you count down with minutes, days, hours, minutes, whatever you want. So us as students, we want holidays, we want to see our family again 
and this app simply counts down to those days. So you simply open the app and it will let you know how many days are left for that certain date. It's good stuff. So if you want to learn the language, definitely check out Memrise. Memrise literally teaches you a language in a really simple way. You, you use the app a couple minutes a day and you get used to using that language. So if you use it daily, you are going to learn so much, but do it daily. Don't like slack off and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it next week. No, no, do it daily. And the knowledge of that language that you're going to have is going to be incredible. iStudios Pro is another app that I mentioned on my Apple Watch app video. It's great. It's basically just a planner for your college life or for your high school life. It's got a calendar so you can get organized um, within certain homework or within certain deadlines because as a student, yes, we do have so many deadlines and it gets stressful. So with iStudios, you're, you're going to have a much simpler planner and you're going to be so much organized. So I know you guys already know these apps, but I just wanted to remind you to actually use them. Pages, Keynote, and Numbers are great and are must-haves for your college life and for your high school life. With Pages, you can write great essays or great documents. It's a must-have for your iPad. Keynote, you're going to write really good presentations, really good keynotes, and if you have a presentation due next week, you can of course write it down with Keynote. Numbers, if you are studying business, it's a must have as well. So guys, that's pretty much it for all the apps that I wanted to mention in today's video. I've used all of them as I said, I just didn't go in the app store and picked a couple of student apps and just show them to you. I actually used them. I'm actually a student right now. I actually use a bunch of these, but when I was in high school, I used all of them. All of them. Right now I'm studying design, so I don't, really, I don't really have that much homework. I have more projects than homework, so I don't use that many of these apps, or I don't really have that many tests. I, it's just more like projects. So um, apps like Quizlet, I don't really use anymore because I don't really study. Um, sometimes I, I download it again, but it's not. Anyways. Anyways, you guys don't really care about this. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out appleworldclothing.com because there are so many new products and I am so excited for you guys to go ahead and check it out. So yeah, two more days, two more freaking days for the Apple keynotes. I am so excited. I will be live streaming it. Can I get some hype in the comments down below? They're like, right now, I'll wait, I'll wait. Just go ahead and type in hype in the comments. Okay, did you type in hype? Okay, don't forget to do all this stuff and I will see you in the next one. Peace.